Hi, I'm going to show you how to make customized clothes for MetaHumans. Uh, this one to be exact. We will take the clothes directly from Marvelous Designer to Unreal Engine and eventually to UEFN. We'll be using MetaHuman Creator, Marvelous Designer, and Unreal Engine 5.5. So let's get started. In MetaHuman Creator Online, I have already built a character I will be using for this tutorial. For the sake of time, I will not go over all the options available, but MetaHuman Creator is user-friendly, and if you have questions about it, please leave them in the comment section. Unreal Engine's Chaos Cloth tool works best when the MetaHuman has no clothes to begin with. I did try with a fully clothed MetaHuman, but the results are not the best. I'll show you that at the end of the video. So create a MetaHuman with the clothes option turned off. I have shoes on mine, but once again, clothes options turned off is best. Next, make a new project in Unreal Engine. Once the project is created, we need to turn on the Chaos Cloth plugins. Go to Edit in the main toolbar, then go to Plugins in the drop-down menu, and then search for Chaos Cloth in the search bar. We need to activate the Chaos Cloth plugin Chaos Cloth Asset Plugin and Chaos Cloth Asset Editor Plugin. You may get a warning message that this may destroy everything you hold dear. Just click on yes and live a little. And if prompted, go ahead and restart the program. Now we need to import the MetaHuman. Go to Quixel Bridge, then go to MetaHumans and My MetaHumans. Then find the MetaHuman for your project. Here we want to download the cinematic complete version of this MetaHuman and go ahead and click download. Now you have to give it some time to download and then click on add. Click OK to all the messages you will get while the MetaHuman is being added to the Unreal project. Here I have the MetaHuman already downloaded. Now we need information about the body type. So go to the MetaHuman folder under your custom MetaHuman named folder and find the body folder. In there, we will find the type of body the MetaHuman has. In my case, it has a normal weight and it's tall. Keep this info in mind. We will need this in Marvelous Designer. That's all we need right now though in Unreal Engine. Next, open Marvelous Designer. We are going to use a MetaHuman avatar available in Marvelous Designer. In the left side menu, go to Avatar and then find the MetaHuman folder. Open it and look for the MetaHuman body type needed. Once again, in my case, it's a normal tall weight character. Now double click that. So Marvelous Designer is a great software to create realistic clothes, perfect for metahumans. For the sake of a shorter tutorial, however, I won't go through the creation process from scratch. I will be using a few ready-made clothes that I have already edited. I have three items. I have a shirt, pants, and a jacket. I bring these into my scene by clicking on add in the top menu and then selecting the garment. Selecting garment, sorry. So these clothes are not fitting perfectly as is. Since they are close to where I want the clothes to be, I can just move around the separate parts to align closer to my avatar pose. And when it is looking decent, I simulate and tweak the clothes from there. This usually does the trick and it does it in this case. And I do this for each item. Now if the clothes were way off, it takes a bit of work. I would start by right clicking the clothes and selecting 3D arrangement for the clothes to be changed from their 3D state as they are into a flattened pattern form. Then I would align the pattern and edit where I needed it. Now once again for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through the process of making the clothes, but if you have questions please ask them. I'll answer them in the comment section. Since I have clothes with buttons, I go ahead and unbutton the jacket and the first button of the shirt. I just like the open jacket look a little bit better than closed jacket. Then I tweak the clothes and set the type of fabric from the presets listed to the right. I also change the particle distance to 10 for everything. Now you can go lower than that to get a more natural look and feel, but the simulation can take a longer time and my sad little computer would probably just explode. Now I make sure all the clothes are set to quad optimized and I set up the UVs. Nothing special, just need them laid out in a way that I can easily distinguish the parts for weight painting in Unreal Engine. In this tutorial, I will be exporting each item of clothes separately. This will give me more control over all the parts making up the clothes. I use the UV 0 to 1 space only. 
What I found is when I export separated clothes, USD files, in each asset, I would get errors if I used other UV spaces. I also need to separate my Marvelous Designer file into one master file with all the clothes, and then three separate ones for the jacket, pants, and the shirt alone. Once again, this is an extra step, but it eliminated errors when I imported the clothes to Unreal Engine. And one last note here, I typically do another extra step, typically. I typically export the clothes to a 3D app for final edits on UVs and topology for these clothes. But for this tutorial, we're going to do the cool thing and go directly from Marvelous Designer to Unreal Engine. Here's the uh, export settings for the USD file for Unreal Engine. For each item, I select the clothes to be exported, select export, and format is USD. Then I have these settings and I click OK. Now, back in Unreal Engine, we need to set up the clothes we just created. Go into the content browser and right click. Now in the pop-up menu, under physics, choose cloth asset. Rename it to something that you can easily identify the clothing with. Repeat this step for each separate clothing item that you bring into Unreal Engine. In my case, I have three items. Now double click on one of these chaos cloth icons. In here you will see there is a blueprint already created and it has a handy dandy description on each node. Starting at the first node, click on USD import node. In the details panel to your right, go to the USD import and find the USD file you exported from Marvelous Designer that corresponds with the chaos cloth asset. Import it and give it a little time to actually import. And here I have my pants. Now the second node we will leave as is. So go to the third node. We will be putting the clothes on the MetaHuman rig and transferring the skin weight information from the MetaHuman to the clothes all in just one step. In the detail panel, go to the skeletal mesh and select the MetaHuman skeletal asset. Then give it time to load. So now in the middle window, we have the UV pattern that we created in Marvelous Designer. Let's go ahead to the next node and the patterns turn black with a red outline. This is where we can paint in the physics information. This is also where most of the work will be done. In this tutorial, I am going through this step very quickly, but I really need to stress you should take your time and get the physics working as well as you can. It's a lot easier to see the effects and edit when the animation is loaded. You can go to the preview scene tab and in the animation box, search for an animation that will help you see the effects of your editing. For the preview asset, use the MetaHuman preview skeletal asset. In this case, I am using a walk animation for my animation. Hitting play in the preview window, we can see what we're working with. Since I'm not doing much with weight painting on the pants, I will switch to the jacket. Now in the left side menu, I'm going to the action type drop down menu and choosing brush. Then under brush, I can change the attribute value to a pretty low number. I'm into making subtle changes over extreme changes and I'll build up from there. Now in the middle window, I get a crosshair and this represents the brush tool. I will be working on the lower portions of this jacket primarily. To preview the effects, I click on the accept button. Unreal updates the weight information for the jacket. Then I hit play in the preview window to see what I have. This is a rinse and repeat kind of process until the animation preview looks good to me. Take your time here and save a lot. I have had the misfortune of a crash or two while I did this weight painting and it's not fun. Once you have the base look, choose smooth from the drop down menu, the same drop down menu that you got the brush from. For the sake of time, I won't go through all the options that are available, but if you have questions, put them in the comments section. Now with the smooth brush, I go ahead and smooth over the areas that I added the weight paint to. This way I get a smooth transition in the animation. There are plenty of other attributes that can be edited for the final look. All of these settings are under the simulation config nodes like uh, stretch and bin configs. When bringing in a USD from Marvelous Designer, you will have a good amount of these settings pre-filled by the information from Marvelous Designer's simulation and the fabric settings. So these settings are a great start and can be easily changed to fit your needs. Okay, when you're happy enough with it, it's time to add these clothes with physics to the MetaHuman Blueprint. This next step is only if you're staying in Unreal Engine. No need to do this step if you are switching to UEFN. Now, for Unreal Engine, I open up my MetaHuman BP. Go to the Viewport tab. Here I have the MetaHuman with no extra clothes except for his shoes, of course. In the left menu, click on the body, then go to the Add button under Components and click that. 
Search for Chaos Cloth component and select it. Now give the component a name, uh, one that's easy to identify the cloth asset with, and uh, go ahead and write it here. In my case, the pants will be named Jeans. Now go to the right side options and scroll down and find the cloth asset under Cloth Component and select the cloth asset that corresponds to the name here. Give it a little time and the clothes should show up on your MetaHuman in the preview window. So repeat this step for each of the Chaos Cloth assets that you've created for this MetaHuman. And that, my friends, is how you get marvelous designer clothes imported directly onto a MetaHuman in Unreal Engine. Now to get the clothes in MetaHuman to UEFN, you will need to go ahead and create a new project in UEFN unless you already have a project in mind. We will migrate the Chaos Cloth assets to UEFN from Unreal Engine. First, you need to choose the folder holding the Chaos Cloth assets in the content browser and then right click it. When that pop-up menu comes up, select Migrate from that menu. An overview of what will be migrated shows up. Try to remove anything that is not necessary that may cause an error or lag in UEFN. Here, I am deselecting the mannequin stuff. It's not needed in UEFN and then I clicked OK. Now, find the UEFN project in the Explorer. In that project folder, go to your Plugins folder, and inside of there should be the Content folder, and click and go ahead and click that one to select it. A message may come up that certain items already exist, and you will have to overwrite them. Toggle Apply to All, and then select No. Give it time, then close Unreal Engine and open the UEFN project. Inside of UEFN, go to the Content Browser and right-click. In the pop-up menu, click on MetaHuman Importer. This is to import an optimized version of the MetaHuman that you created for UF. Find the MetaHuman you worked on and download it. Select Optimized Version here. High Optimized. It's up to you. I like High Optimized, but you can select Medium if you choose. Once it's finished downloading, click on Add. Give it time. With the MetaHuman now in UEFN, open up the MetaHuman BP. We are going through the same steps as if we were in Unreal Engine at this point. Once again, in the left menu, click on the body, then go to Add Button. Under Components, uh, you can click that and search for Chaos Cloth Components and select it. Now give the components a name that's easily identifiable for the cloth asset that you're about to assign to it. After that, go to the right side options and scroll down. Find the cloth asset under Cloth Component and place the cloth asset that corresponds to that name in there. If you have any questions about these steps, please leave the question in the comments. Give it a little time and those clothes should pop up for you, right? You'll have to repeat this step for each Chaos Cloth asset that you created for this MetaHuman. Now, something went wrong with my jacket material in UEFN. It was just fine in Unreal Engine, but UEFN wants to be a little difficult. That happens. If you run into the same issue, you can either tweak the material back in Unreal Engine to be optimized to work in UEFN, or you can also go into UEFN, into the material area, and find a material that may work and add your textures to that. Replace that material with the material that was migrated from Unreal Engine. And now we can test it out by dragging the MetaHuman BP into our scene, then add an animation to test this MetaHuman's body. All right, you do that in a details tab. For this tutorial, I'm moving kind of quickly through these steps and I didn't spend time making it showy. So I'll just make a note here after doing, bringing the textures in from Marvelous Designer, I definitely advise you to spend a little time texturing it in your texturing app of choice. Here's some of the vertices on this jacket you can see are kind of off. This is either from missing spots from weight painting or the topology, meaning the vertex normals mainly, are incorrect. Spending more time on the weight paints would probably solve this, but like I said, I was moving kind of quick. Oh yeah, and here's some work I was doing when I was mixing the MetaHuman default clothes with Marvelous Designer clothes. Uh, it's not too bad, and if I figure this out, I'll definitely put a, tutor a tutorial up for you to check out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section. I'll respond. Hopefully that was helpful. Later.